In the next two tutorial videos, we're going to be talking about constructors in Java. In this uh, tutorial video, we're precisely going to be talking about the default constructor. Now, before we can even explain what a default constructor is, we have to see what constructors are in general. So, when discussing about classes, one of the most important subtopics would be constructors. Every class has a constructor. So, what is a constructor? Well, constructors are used to initialize the instance variables of an object. So, in other words, they initialize the fields of an object. They're similar to methods, but with some important differences. So, a constructor must have the same name as the class it's in. So, for example, let's say you had your class dog your constructor would have to be named dog also. Another important uh, difference between a method and a constructor is if you don't define a constructor for a class, a default constructor without any parameters is automatically created by the compiler. So this is an example of what a default constructor looks like. So we have our class dog here we have our instance variables or fields if you prefer and then we have our constructor here that is initializing uh, the default values for those uh, instant um, instance variables so um, that's the theory behind a default constructor in the next step we're going to try and use this in a practical example Now that we've understood what a default constructor is, let's try and create one in Java using Eclipse. So, as you can see, we're in our class named dog here, and we already have our instance variables created, or our fields if you prefer. So let's add a default constructor. So, public. Uh, remember, your constructor must have the same name as your class, so dog. And because it's a default constructor, it has no parameters. So the parentheses are empty. Open up brackets. Then let's just type out this sentence, just so you understand exactly uh, that we're talking about a default constructor. Default constructor, like so. And then we're going to fill in the default values for the uh, instance variables or for the fields. So the default value for the name of the dog will be unknown. Same for the color of the dog. Excuse me. And then the default, the default value for the age of the dog will be zero, like so. So now uh, using this constructor, let's create the object dog. So let's go to our main class here. And then let's type out dog, object dog, uh, then name the, the object. So dog one, for example equals new to create a new object and then class doc like so now if you run this program as you'll see the object is created using the default constructor so that's how you use uh, the default constructor in java